And India's first privately developed launch vehicle, the Vikram S, launched successfully from the Indian Space Research Organization's Sri Harikota Spaceport. The mission, named Param, or the beginning, marks the Indian private sector's first foray into the promising space launch market developed by four-year-old startup Skyroot Aerospace. The launch of the rocket will mark the foray of the private sector into India's space industry. The space sector was opened to private players by the center in 2020. Just to remind the viewers, this is an aerodynamic views from the mission control center. And uh, uh, everything has gone as for we have. How does it feel after the successful launch? Yeah, it's very exciting feel for us. Uh, the, the fact that we're able to uh, reach space in our very first attempt. And we thank uh, Shah team and ISRO centers very much because without their support, it wouldn't have been possible at all. Did you sleep well last night? Not at all. I have not sleep for a single hour. <laughs> Take us through this journey. How did this begin? And over the last two years, the building process. Yeah, it, it was. It, it started from a concept. It, it started from a conception that we should, as a, as a step by step process, to go to the orbital launch process. Uh, we conceptualized Vikram S to be a suborbital launch where we prove around 80 percent of the technologies that go into our orbital launch vehicles. And with this launch, we were able to prove various subsystems like solid propulsion systems, the avionic systems that go into orbital launch vehicles have been test proved with this flight, and which gives us more confidence to go and, and attempt our first orbital launch uh, sometime next year. You're trying to make satellite launches as simple as booking a cab. Uh, what would this mean for a common man? So satellite technology is everywhere, you know. So we cannot live today without uh, satellites. And, uh, you know, in the next five to ten years, uh, communications and Earth observation is going to change human lives. And it's going to get much more accessible to everybody. And launch vehicles will play a major role in making space more accessible to everybody. And that's what we attempt to do. You know, so and that's it, done. It's that in itself is a multi-billion-dollar industry in itself. You know, so which also will open space for everybody and also improve our lives in the future. You've received 527 crore as funding. With this successful launch, do you think your valuation will soar? No, it, it's no. It's more about value creation in this industry than valuations per, per right. se. So, like, of course, we are for, we've been fortunate. We were fortunate enough to receive good amount of funding and the investor trust uh, uh, even before our first attempt to launch and uh, this capability proving will of course may uh, make make us stand uh, steadfast in our capability uh, and be able to express uh, uh, to the investor community that a, uh, uh, a capability of such extent is existing in India and be able to uh, raise more funds to reach our R&D milestones and also the further orbital launch. Give us a sense of the unique features of your launch vehicle. So one of the first unique feature is like uh, it's it's built with completely you know, carbon fiber structure. The entire core structure of the rocket is built with carbon fiber. Lastly, in terms of public so interest versus commercial interest, what will be a focus? What will be a priority? So we, we are a fully commercially focused uh, uh, in, in general. So uh, commercial space sector is, is a bo booming industry and we intend to cater to the commercial space sector uh, over the coming months. And cost of this project? Uh, so that's confidential bit. So, you know, we'll not be revealing, revealing it right now. Yeah. And any specific plans besides, what's the business model? So basically we are a, uh, essentially a transportation service from Earth to orbit. Uh, uh, and uh, this uh, the first step of us is essentially proving the capabilities that are, that are needed to be able to render that service. From next year onwards, we will be starting commercial operations by rendering orbital launch services to the customers.